guys, welcome back to Thousands of Roots. This is Carrie, and I've got my little helper today. We're in the garden and we're gonna do some fall planting. Uh, it's a little late to be planting some of these things, but I kind of figure better late than never. And um, also we've got some rain coming hopefully later today or tomorrow, so that's kind of perfect as long as it's not a heavy, heavy rain. Uh, so then all our seeds will get watered in really nicely by the rain. Got my little planting bag here. Inside I've got my instructions for everything that we're going to be planting. We've got our got little seed packs. I've kind of um, organized things according to when we're going to plant. So we've got some for today, some for later in the month, and then some for next month. Uh, so this is my little fall planting baggie. All right, so here we go. We're going to start um, over in a kind of shady area and we're going to do some peas and carrots. Um, hope, I'm hoping there's going to be enough shade that they can tolerate the heat that we still have because it's summer still. <laughs> it's kind of strange to be planting fall crops in the middle of summer, but that's kind of what you have to do. So, You ready? Dilly, you ready to go plant? Yeah. <laughs> So here's the bed we're going to use for the peas and carrots. Uh, this was our spaghetti squash bed and the spaghetti squash did great in the beginning and then unfortunately it got attacked by squash borer worms and so we lost a lot of the spaghetti squash but we do still have four or five I think inside that um, we'll be eating probably this fall. Thanks guys. We still have a few little um, calendula plants and some bolted lettuce that was in here with the squash so we'll probably be clearing most of that um, out and the weeds and then the guys just brought me some compost so we'll put a fresh layer of compost on before we plant and we actually have to pause the fall planting to do what Josh? Uh, milking? Milking yeah we gotta go milk the cow <laughs> uh, so we'll be back to the fall planting in a few minutes who's that hiding in the hammock upside down? <laughs> it's an ester pie <laughs> All right, the guys are gonna finish up the milking so I can get back to the planting. Pulling up the weeds. Uh-oh, that wasn't a weed. <laughs> Did you pull up the calendula? Whoopsie. That's okay, we'll use the flowers. That one's not a weed, is it, sweetheart? Yeah, you can have it. We'll cut the flowers off and use it for salve making. Letting the children be in the garden is um, not always the easiest way to go. That There are some challenges. <laughs> like when your two and a half year old pulls up the calendula thinking she's helping pull weeds. The experience that the children have in the garden makes it well worth it. So even though there will be some losses and things will be slowed down a bit, um, as they get older they actually um, can be a huge help in the garden. So it's definitely worth it to let the children be in the garden making sure to train them and um, learn from all those experiences that you have together. And I should say I don't always have the children in the garden with me. Sometimes I sneak out to the garden just to be alone and have some quiet time and I think that's okay too, especially for mamas. Sometimes mamas need quiet alone time, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> can you pull all those little flowers off Biddle and save them so we can make salve? Oh, you're gonna put it in your hair? Do you want mama to help you put it in your hair? Oh, it's so beautiful. Hello. Looks wonderful with your haircut that you gave yourself. <laughs> she she uh, got a hold of some scissors and gave herself a little haircut this week. Want one on the other side too? Ah, beautiful. Nice thing about having the chickens right by the garden is you can just toss them all the toss them all the weeds and scraps. Okay. 
Okay, the bed is all ready for planting. Uh, if we had sand, we'd actually probably put some sand in this bed as well because we're planting the peas and carrots and we tend to have really compacted, heavy and clay soil here. So um, it's really hard to grow peas and carrots here. And so we, we just don't have sand. So for today, we just added the extra compost and I'm hoping that it's gonna be soft enough that the peas and the carrots can still do okay without the sand. So we're planting sugar and peas. Yeah, this is a variety um, never tried before, and I've been wanting to try it. So sugar and peas. And we're planting four kinds of carrots because I couldn't decide. So we're doing Amarillo, which is a yellow carrot, Red Samurai, which is a red carrot, um, Danvers, which is just your normal orange carrot, and Purple Sun, purple carrot. So we're going to have four different colors of carrots, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, put my hands out. You want me to hold my hand out? Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> okay, that's enough, Biddle. Can you try and pick up the ones that fell? <laughs> She's planting in her own spots. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are you putting them wherever you think they should go? Yeah. Yeah? Well, I think we have enough now. Yeah. Yep, I think we have enough. gonna have some random peas. Cover them all up. Cover them up. Pat it down. Good job. Cover it up. Pat it down. Last one. Cover it up. Pat it down. I'm just putting some sticks as markers so we remember where to water. Okay, the peas are in. Time for the carrots. Jay Bud helping now. He's planting the Danvers orange carrots. Tiny little seeds, aren't they? Yeah. It's hard to keep track where they go. It is hard to keep track, huh? Mm -hmm. You're doing a great job. Put them in my trench, right in here. See my little trench? You don't really have to cover carrots much. You don't have to cover them very much, okay? That's good. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> have a rainbow clockwise around the bed yellow orange red and purple okay I think those are good oh so, so, so we have all of those colors yeah we have all those colors Wow so the next thing we're gonna be doing is Detroit dark red beets along this whole bed so this whole raised bed we started out with having um, our onion sets and radishes and we harvested all the radishes and then planted kohlrabi. And we pretty much harvested all the kohlrabi as well. We have two plants left that I may just pull up. Um, and we harvested all of our onions. So the bed is almost empty other than some horseradish and creeping thyme. And a few pepper plants down at the end. So it's a pretty good space. I'm hoping to get a lot of beets out of it. What you doing, Bill Bear? You having fun, Biddle? Alright, Nate's over helping now. Spreading some new compost down in this area where we're going to plant some touchstone gold beets. Got all the Detroit dark reds planted. And so we have two little spots here at the end of our double trellis. Probably like three foot by four foot spaces, something like that. You plant the golden beets. We've never done golden beets. That'll be fun, huh? Yep. And we're planting these about six inches apart. Not exactly, but 
How about that? Starting to rain, we gotta hurry. We're planting briar speck kohlrabi. Yep, last thing for today. And we already prepped the bed, so all the weeds are out. We put fresh compost, and this is gonna be a bed that's gonna have a cover to protect from bugs, because it's a brassica bed. Here we go, let's hurry. All right, I think we made it just in time. It's still sprinkling, um, but the major rains haven't hit yet. Uh, we're probably gonna just leave the cover off of this kohlrabi bed for now um, until the sprouts just come up and then we'll cover it. That way we can water it more easily. We would not still have an abundance of kale and um, Chinese cabbage going if we didn't have this cover. The bugs definitely would have eaten it up by now. All right, I think that's it for today. Thanks for joining us in the garden. Um, love to hear if any of you are starting your fall planting and what you're planting. Remember, we still don't have comments. Unfortunately, we're just waiting on YouTube to reestablish our comments, if they even will, we don't know. So if you happen to be on Facebook, um, you can catch us over there and, and leave some comments there on Facebook at Thousands Roots Homestead. I think I'm gonna go see if I can start the next video for, <laughs> we're trying to, to film two videos today. So the next video is gonna be a new project on the homestead that we're just starting that we are excited to share with you. So um, until next time, we pray blessings over you and yours and whatever you do, do it with your whole heart.